Hey guys, Exodarkon here, and welcome to the pilot episode to a new series I want to try called Project Exover. Crossover. Cro cr e crossover. Project Crossover. Yeah. Essentially, in this series, I'll be taking characters, both fictional and non-fictional, and seeing what kind of deck they would have if they were to exist in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. Now, here are a couple of rules before we start. Rule 1, these decks will be traditional format, so we will be having all your banned cards. If they suit the character, they're gonna be in there. Rule 2, only one copy of a card per deck, unless the strategy requires it. So, for example, if they have a germ deck, they're gonna use three giant germs. Rule number 3, no unique cards just like my character deck videos these decks are going to be based in the anime so stuff like the blue eyes white dragon neo spatian stuff that is exclusive to a certain character will not be put in these decks rule four all cards in these videos will be tcg meaning if by some weird chance you wanted to make these decks in real life you can do that and finally rule five it's just a bit of fun these decks are not going to be meta decks in any way shape or form they're not going to be very they might not even be very good decks but they're just going to be some fun, so don't take it too personal. So how will these decks be made? Well, one thing I've noticed in the Yu-Gi-Oh! animes is characters' decks seem to reflect their personality, whether it be the cards they use or playstyle, and it is on that basis we will talk about our first subject. Now, as you know, I started on this platform as an abridger, and for the most part, I still consider myself to be one, but... Everything has a beginning, and for abridging the parody term at least, came this man, Martin Bellany, aka Little Karibo, who many years ago took the internet by storm with Yu Gi Oh! the abridged series, and has continued to do so ever since, as well as go on to work as a voice actor on projects like K On and even Star Wars. But enough yapping, let's get to stacking! So let's start with the monster card. Now, with this being Little Karibo's deck, I think we can all agree the Little Karibo is going to use the Karibo cards. We have Karibo, Wing Karibo, Sphere Karibo, Curry Born, Relink Karibo, Curry Bandit, and Clear Karibo, Wing Karibo level 9, and Wing Karibo level 10. He would definitely use these cards. I think it's it's little Karibo. Of course he's going to use these cards. Um, allow me to stop you for just a second or so. Hi, quick editor note here. Uh, I also think he would use Performa Pal Kariba Bell, Junk Karibo, Rainbow Karibo. Okay, cool. As you guys were. Another series of cards I feel Martin would really like is the Exodia cards. He does like Exodia, so we would give him the Exodia cards. All five pieces, the right leg, the right arm, the left leg, the left arm, and of course Exodia, the forbidden one. But I also think Martin would use all aspects of Exodia, like the legendary Exodia incarnate, Exodia the legendary defender, Exodia's the ultimate forbidden lawn, and Exodia necros. But also, Martin is a huge fan of wrestling, so we're going to have Goki Twist Cobra, Goki Goki Wrist Scorpio, Goki Bear Hook, Goki Suprex, Goki Headbat, as well as the Dino Wrestlers Capaterra, Dino Wrestler Sistegastor, Dino Wrestler Pancraptops. We've also got to throw in a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series memeage, so of course we're going to have the obnoxious Celtic Guardian, because he's so obnoxious. And finally, they provide nothing for the decks as far as being monsters go, but we all know that Little Karibo has one love that he prioritizes above all. One love that is his truest of all loves. His love for butts. So, of course, we've got Elemental Hero Avion and Elemental Hero Spackman. Moving on to spells and sticking with the support of his monster cards, we have the Karibo support, Multiply, Berserker Crush, Detonate, Transcendent Wings, and Flute of Summoning Karibo. But as well, we also have his wrestling support, Goki Cage Match, Goki Face Turn, Goki Rematch, a Contract with the Exodia to go with his Exodia cards, and of course, the World Dino Wrestling Field Spell card. Not to mention the Swords of Revealing Light, which none of you will get but it's just a little personal thing between me and him. Moving on to our traps, continuing our little sword joke, we have Spiritual Swords of Revealing Light, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, and Scrap Iron Statue, which if you remember from his Christmas opening series of a few years ago, he loved these two cards. Defense Draw, just because I think it's a card he would very much like to use. Quantum Cat, because we know Little Creeper loves his cats, and it's a very good trap card. And of course, going back to this wrestling desperate tag finally let's talk about a little karibo's extra deck we have link karibo of course goki jet ogre goki the great ogre goki the master ogre goki thunder ogre and dino wrestler king t rexel 
And there you have it, little Karibo's deck, if he existed within the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. What did you think of this uh, little video? Did you like this? Do you think this is something you would like to see more of? Please comment down below with characters or people that you would like to see get this uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! deck makeover, if you will. Until then, I would like to thank you all for joining. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Down in the link description, we do have a link to my Discord as well as Patreon, uh, which you are now going to be seeing a list of my current patrons who I would like to thank profusely for their support over over all this time i do i do i love you all to bits so thank you all very much for joining and i hope to see you next time take care